placeholder. As video editors, we know post-production takes time. Currently, we do not have all the assets needed to complete this project, but we can get started. This documentary project will include an interview, but those assets are still being transferred to us. Open the Titles and Generators sidebar, and inside the Elements category, locate the placeholder generator. Add the placeholder clip to your project. If desired, add effects and transitions to the placeholder like you would with any other clip. Drag the edges to extend or shorten the duration of the placeholder clip. By default, we see a long shot with two people. Open the generator inspector to customize the look. For this project, we should be getting two angles of the subject being interviewed. One medium shot, and the second a close-up. Copy and paste the existing placeholders or add additional to create the project. With the general placement of the interview set, add B-roll, music, titles, and additional content. Add notes to the placeholders to help keep track of your ideas. Select a placeholder clip, open the generator inspector, and check the View Notes box. Type in the notes. When the clips arrive, it's time to replace the placeholders. Select the portion of a clip to be added. Drag and drop it on the placeholder. Select the desired replace option and repeat the step to add the remaining clips. The timing of the placeholder clip is ignored when choosing Replace. If the placeholder is set to a specific duration, choose Replace from Start, Replace from End, or Replace with Retime to Fit. Retime to Fit will speed up or slow down the added clip to fit the duration of the placeholder. For the interview, this is going to look strange. Instead, we can use Replace from Start, which will add our selection and trim the end to fit. Or use the reverse and trim the start of the clip so that the end of the selection matches the end of the placeholder. Keep the placeholder clip in the project using the Audition feature. Replace and Add to Audition creates the same change in the project as selecting the normal Replace option with the addition of this icon. Click on it to open the Audition and switch between clips. The final option also creates an audition by adding the selected clip to an audition. The difference is the added clip is not active. We still see the placeholder. If you are an assistant editor, you may use this feature to add multiple takes to one of these placeholder clips. Then, when the primary editor takes over, they can look at the auditions and make a selection. I enjoy the Long Shot Urban Clear Night Interior Placeholder. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments.